Welcome to Georgia Cop RVing. In today's video, I visited George L. Smith State Park, located in Twin City, Georgia, just off of I-16, close to Swainsboro, Georgia. George L. Smith is known for its beautiful lake, loaded with cypress trees. And up at the check-in station, there's a boat ramp if you care to bring your boat and go fishing. Or you can rent a kayak and kayak all through the lake, in and out of the cypress trees. Also located up at the visitor center is a mill, and it has a museum inside of it. Today we'll visit that museum, and we'll also do a campground review. The campground is small, I think it's 25 or 27 sites, but it's a beautiful campground, well kept. Again, if you like this video, consider hitting that like button and subscribe. Thank you. Check this species, Eastern Indigo Snake. Do not harm. They ain't got to worry about me getting around it. I'm going to tell you. Crafty and white keeper. 
baby American crocodile. get caught up in that.
works for the museum. And we'll head back. So, y'all stay tuned and we'll do a campground review in just a moment. Woo, tell you what, I can't stand cold weather. We got the damn blood or something. Well, just know if you come, that's all it is to the museum. Not a whole lot. But, uh, that's all right, it's there. pictures I'm gonna come up here and let you let you see the playground of course there's also one around the the uh, campground up there I saw it it's around a picnic shelter and all that but there's some people up there right now good place to come to a family reunion or a type of church social or something, whatever event you would like to do. Let's take a look at this. For the kitties. Got a slide. Barrel pole there. Another slide. Step on out here. Get a better view of it. There you go. All right, well, that's the playground up here at the, where you check in. I will say it is a pretty camp, campground. They keep it up well. But we finna head back to the campground. See you there. All right, guys, we're back here at campground. And this is on the, on the back side, which is my campsite 18. And as you can see, there's some big rigs in here. There's a old, School Wonder Lodge. I used to work at Bluebird Body Company. If you see, there's a Bluebird emblem right there on the side. Well, Wonder Lodge was built by the same people that own Bluebird school buses. And their shop across the road from where we built the school buses. It's just, I think it's shut down now, I'm pretty sure it is. But, uh, there's one bathhouse, which is right there in front of us. Here's site 20. You can see they're very well spaced apart. These on the water. Twenty one. And there's twenty four, which 
which is right there again in the center. I haven't been in the bass houses. I'm sorry to use my camper. Well, he's up that way. So as you can see, this is a well-maintained campground. They keep it up nice. Got people camping in tents in the back of their truck. Wonder lodges, campers. Nice looking bathhouse on the outside. Fireworks are not allowed. There's a George L. Smith Park map right there. So right there for you for campsites pioneer camping primitive camping group shelter picnic shelter cottages and the boat rental all right right there in front of us is one of the the hosts that's at the very beginning because you go into the campground right there that's the entrance to the campground and then you come to the first host right there and dryer room. That's another host right in front of us. And there as you're going out of the campground. So there's actually two host sites here. I told you earlier there was a second playground. And as you can see, there's some kind of gathering over there. There's a playground and picnic shelters. There's a couple of them over there. And a nice big yard there for the kids to play in. They could have made a lot more campsites here, but they chose to keep it small, which is a, a good thing. A lot of folks don't like crowded campgrounds. You can see it's nice and open. And they didn't crowd it at all. So, if that's what you like, it's campsites that are spaced far apart. And it's not crowded. This is the one for you. So we're right here at number one, campground host. They have firewood for sale right here at the at the campground host site.
go through every site, but there's a few things I want to show you up here. And I feel like it's important. Right up in front of us is Squirrel Run Walking Trail half a mile as you can see that takes you all the way from the campground to the office and the mill house if you wish to walk and not be on the road you can walk the trail and it tells you to be aware alligators are present Site number three, right here in front of us. Now, if you want something that's secluded and by yourself, that's way back there. There's nothing back there to bother you whatsoever. You're right by your lonesome. And then, as you can see, well, I'll take that back. I see number four is back there also. If you've got a, a friend that wants to camp with you, they got they can buddy site with you right there. Okay, can you can see everybody's kind of far apart. Not stacked on top of each other. But it's pretty much one way in, one way out. pick back up once I get closer to uh, my site. Alright, we're getting close to the water sites. Really number 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all the way up to just past me water sites and they're good sites large sites as you can see there's vegetation in between them that gives you privacy there's 16 I says 17 and 18 where I'm at one thing I want to tell you about 18 it is considered one of the best sites because as you can see, it's right there on the water and it's a pull through. But follow me as we go in. I have a 17 foot Autumn Ridge uh, 171RD. And from tip to tip, it's like 21.8. But as you can see, there is, I mean, you can, you have to get over kind of far to the right over here, but there's not much in the, in the tip of the horseshoe for the pull through. So you just need to be aware if you have a, <laughs> a long camper maybe a 30 foot or so that uh, it's, it's not real wide you know here but that's how you come into 18 I think it's pretty much the length of my camper and then it starts curving back to go out and then you have your neighbor which is right there next to you which they're up from you they're not they're not close yeah it's stacked on top of you
Put you right here on the water. As you can see. Here's my kayak. You notice I ain't go out today. It's cold. Cold and windy. That's a fire starter right there now. I'm telling you. Can start one up. All right, we're back here it's at the beginning. Well, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Uh, hope it was informative for you. Maybe you learned a little bit about George L. Smith Campground. And uh, if there's anything that I don't point out when I do my reviews, leave me a comment. Let me know what you like to, like to uh, know about campgrounds. And I'll be glad to read them and see if I can't remember the next time I go to include that information. Because that's what this is all about, is to be informative different campgrounds and not not to be you too famous or nothing I don't think the travel channel is going to come and invite me to do any videos for me anytime soon but again hit that like button and that subscribe button if you enjoy the videos and uh, I'm not I don't claim to be no professional or nothing I just like to like to do them so the next trip I go on, if everything goes correctly, is in May. I will be going to Florida to Anastasia Island near St. Augustine. So stay tuned for that one. That ought to be fun at the beach and we'll visit St. Augustine and a historical town there. It's supposed to be the oldest one there is. And uh Again, thank you for tuning in. Hit that like and subscribe button. Y'all have a good evening.